Do you sometimes think, I wish my pineapple tasted like it just got picked? Fully ripened and delicious. But all you can get is this green version of a pineapple that's been picked weeks before it was ripe. Jet pineapples are one solution, but they aren't always available either. And they're super expensive. Don't worry, there's a way to make your green pineapple taste like it just came from the tropics. By freezing it. If you're interested, it's cocktail time. If you're not in the tropics, the pineapples you get represent a compromise for two reasons. A pineapple will never become any riper than it was when harvested, and a fully ripe pineapple is too fragile to be shipped long distances. Fully ripe means a pineapple that has its full sugar content, but once it reaches that state, it's subject to bruises and rot. So we'll concentrate the juice from this pineapple to make it taste sweeter. To do that, we just need to remove some water. You could reduce a liquid in a pan by simmering it down, but even a low heat can drastically alter the flavor of delicate ingredients like fruit juice. Long time ago, they figured a great way to remove water with many different types of drinks is with freezing. This is called freeze distillation, freeze ripening, jacking or cryo concentration. By doing that, we get a higher ratio of flavor to water, which in our case mimics ripening of the fruit. This technique was modernized by Dr. Bruno Gussault, also known as the father of sous vide. But when it comes to cocktails, there's one bar that does freezing techniques better than anyone. Pat and Sons in Edinburgh. So when Ian McPherson created their award-winning Transcend menu, he of course used cryo concentration as well. This menu is full of revolutionary freezing techniques and amazing cocktails. We've covered suppression before, now we look at how to cryo concentrate pineapple. I'll also give you a few cocktail ideas on what to do with the supercharged pineapple juice and even how to use the leftover water. But first, let's hear from Ian on how and why they use cryo concentration. Here at Panda and Sons, we really focus using it on basically getting consistent ripeness in our fruit and vegetable juices. How we do this is we take the water out to up the flavor, sugar, and in certain cases, acids, to really get the right ripeness all the way through every week and month. To make cryo concentration a bit easier, you'll need the isolated cooler with the DIY version I showed in the clear ice episode working perfectly fine as well. Just like when you make clear ice, directional freezing will again freeze the water particles at the top first, pushing everything else to the bottom. With our pineapple juice, it will of course be more than just impurities and air particles in the water, but also all the flavor, sugar and acid. And if you want to make sure you get the right amounts of sugar and acids in the cryoconcentrated juice, you'll also need these two geeky gadgets, a Briggs refractometer and a pH meter. Both are pretty cheap, so I'll leave links in the description. Now, before I finally juice this pineapple. This technique of course works with plenty of other fruits and vegetables. Panda and Sons use grapefruit and tomato juices, so feel free to play around and let me know how it goes. For pineapple, I'll start by peeling and juicing it. I've shown how to use the peels to make an oleosaccharum in the DIY pineapple cordial episode, and pineapple leather with a pulp when making the horchata pina colada. So now I'm thinking, I could do an episode for all the different things you can do with one pineapple. Back to juicing. Our cooler's capacity is 5 liters, and there's no need to fill it all the way up. And if you want to try how cryo-concentration enhances the flavor of juice, you can even try this technique with store-bought juice. As for our pulp, I already mentioned fruit leather, but you can also make fermented pineapple soda with it. I'll transfer our juice pineapple into the isolated cooler, with the lid removed, and we can take first measurements, just to see where we're at with this particular batch of pineapples in regards to sugar and acids. My readings show 11 bricks, meaning there's 11 grams of sugar in every 100 grams of solution, and a pH level of 3.17, which is quite acidic. As we'll decrease the water content, the ratio of sugar and acids will of course increase. To do that, we place the insulated cooler in the freezer and wait. With my setup, I left it there for 24 hours. At that point, I remove the juice from the freezer before it freezes all the way through. But even if that happens, you can just place the whole ice block on a large strainer and the concentrated juice will melt before water. You just need to stop the straining in time. Ours seems perfectly frozen, so we can cut into it and remove the frozen water. Straining out the concentrated pineapple juice. This is similar to what we've got from a very ripe fruit. With a quick taste test, it's quickly clear we have delicious, intensified flavor like you just juiced the ripest pineapple of your life. Don't throw away the frozen water part, because as you can see by the color, it still has some flavor in it. We'll use that at the end, after it melts. 
for a low ABV cocktail. To get scientific and check for the level of sugar and acids again, we need to let this come to room temperature, which will ensure the correct measurements. This way we can always make sure we are getting a consistent level of ripeness from our juice. A ripe pineapple will usually have around 15 to 18 bricks, and we got 15 from this one, with a pH level remaining at 3.17. I've done this process three times altogether and always got similar results. So even if you don't have these tools, you can follow this recipe and expect the same. We'll need the bricks level to create ingredients from this juice, so note it down for later. Our freeze ripened pineapple juice will give any cocktail an intense, boosted pineapple flavor. But since we made quite a lot of juice, I'll also show you how you can turn this into a precisely measured 1 to 1 and 2 to 1 pineapple syrups by adding just the right amount of sugar. Right after I swizzle the chartreuse swizzle alongside our cryoconcentrated pineapple juice. You also need green chartreuse, falernum and lime super juice. One and a quarter of an ounce or 37 and a half mils. The bittersweet French liqueur replaces Caribbean rum in this herbal expression of the swizzle. This powerful liqueur will be a good base against one ounce or 30 mils of our boosted pineapple juice. For sweetness and some nice sticky spices, half an ounce or 50 mils of falernum. To balance everything out, 3 quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of lime super juice. As always, 2 drops of saline solution to boost the flavors. Add crushed ice and swizzle with a swizzle stick or a bar spoon. Garnish with pineapple leaves and that's it. Cheers! Not only beautiful, but this interesting combination of ingredients works together incredibly well. Chartreuse pairs seamlessly with our super sweet pineapple and the spiced falernum. Tangy lime and plenty of ice balance everything out and you'll keep coming back sip after sip. Now you could just make many of these, but I'll show you an easy way to make cryo pineapple syrups by always nailing the right amount of sugar. To do that, I added new syrup calculators to my website. For juices that already have sugar in them, just type in the bricks and grams of juice you're using, and you'll get the amount of sugar you need to add, based on the type of syrup you're making, 1 to 1 or 2 to 1. For the 1 to 1 syrup, I'm using 200 grams of juice, so I need to add 140 grams of sugar to get to 50 bricks. And for the 2 to 1 syrup, I'm starting with less of our freeze ripened juice, 150 grams. And that's because we need to add more sugar. Here is 233 grams, which will bring us to a 67 bricks syrup. You could do this without adding heat and just stir for the liquid and the acid to dissolve the sugar, but I want it to last a little longer, so heating it past the pasteurization point will help with that. Then all you need to do is bottle, add a label and that's it. I'll show you how to make the pineapple daiquiri using the 1 to 1 cryo pineapple syrup, super lime juice, light rum and saline solution. For the 2 to 1 syrup you could make a great tropical old fashioned or even a mint julep, but I'll share a pisco punch recipe in this week's newsletter called the cocktail times. Check out past issues and sign up for new ones on kevincost.com. Now for the pineapple daiquiri. Into a chilled shaker, add 2 ounces or 60 ml of light rum. I'm using Havana Club 3 year, but Plantation 3 stars or Diplomatico Planas are great options too. Follow that with 3 quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of super lime juice. After you make a new batch of super juice, make sure to reuse the pills for super lemon gel or lime gel. And for that bright tropical flavor, 3 quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of our 1 to 1 cryo pineapple syrup. Final touch, 2 drops of 20% saline solution to enhance all the flavors. Shake hard with plenty of ice and top the strain into a well chilled cooked glass. For the crown of the cocktail, add a small pineapple leaf on the rim of the glass. I don't think there's much I can say about how great the combination of rum, lime and pineapple is. A great variation of the daiquiri that will bring you summer vibes with every sip. And before you know it, you'll reach the bottom of the glass. If you've made it here, post the panda emoji. Just to show you didn't blink and miss it. This week as a thank you for making it till the end. Another Greek cocktail recipe with the leftover pineapple water. That still has some sugar, acid and pineapple flavor and we'll mix that with our DOY coconut rum liqueur into an easy tropical highball. So add the strained pineapple water into a soda siphon and charge it with a CO2 charger. Shake a few times and place it in the fridge for 10 minutes for the foam to settle. Then we'll release the gas with a glass over the spout to prevent any mess. Make sure it's fully degassed before you open the siphon and you're ready to combine the two ingredients in a chilled highball glass filled with ice. I'm starting with 1.5 ounce or 45 ml of coconut rum liqueur. Follow that with 3 ounces or 90 ml of our carbonated pineapple water. And as always, why wouldn't we brighten up the flavors with 2 drops of saline solution? Add a lime wedge for garnish. Mix the ingredients with a gentle lift from a bar spoon. And that's it. Simple, elegant and delicious. This one is dedicated to our newest Wall of Fame Patreon supporter, 
Eric Dinstrand. Thank you, Eric, and welcome to the set of Cocktail Time with your very own brick. I'll see you next week, friends of cocktails. Cheers.